Hi, my name is Nicholas Lewski, and this is my screencast presentation on honeycomb geometric figure code in Python Turtle. So what shape was I trying to, to code? I was trying to code a hexagon, which has six sides and is also a polygon. And as it says here, a polygon is a plane figure that is described by a finite number of straight lines connected by a segment. So this is the calculation you would use to find a hexagon, the perimeter of a hexagon. And right, here's the calculation you would do to solve for the area. And some other interesting facts I found out is that every time the corner of a hexagon goes in, as you can see here, like that, there's an angle of 120 degrees every time. And then down here, it's just uh, how you draw a hexagon, like in this picture. Now, where's the shape found in nature? The hexagon's found in many places, like this snowflake right here, as you can see, it has six sides. And it's found in cold places, pretty much anywhere where it snows. And here on the shell of the turtle, you can see there's like little hexagons on the shell. And now, um, turtles are found almost everywhere. Beside, in fact, they're found in every continent besides Antarctica, which is pretty cool. And then hexagons are also found in honeycombs. And these are like the main places where they're found. And honeycombs are found in beehives, which like are on top of buildings, skyscrapers, trees, everywhere. They're found like almost everywhere. And then the importance of the honeycomb. So the honeycomb, it's edible, first of all, which it gives people sugar, especially with diabetes, has a lot of sugar, so it helps them. It's healthy. It increases um, your heart health. It fights off infections, and it benefits your body because it boosts your liver system. And then... The, since honeycombs in beehives, beehives are important for bees because they get to store their larvae in there, their um, honey. But not only are they important to bees, they're important to humans because they create create jobs for humans. They can humans can sell the beehives, sell the bees, sell the honey, and they can also use like the bees to um, pollinate their uh, crops. Now, is the honeycomb or the hexagon favored by nature? Well, here it says, if a trait increases in frequency in a population over generations greater than be accounted for by genetic drift, then we can be certain that the trait is favored by natural selection. This is a direct outcome of Mendelian genetics. So it's saying that if it grows over in populations over generations, then it is favored by natural selection. And in this case, it is because honeycombs and beehives, they have grown over generations in population because they not only like help people with jobs, but they also help their health and etc. Now we're going to get to the code. Let's run it. So here it's just creating like the base light, the base of a honeycomb with just drawing a couple hexagons. So here, right here are just some basic codes. It's pretty much saying the pen size, which we just picked like six little units, the speed, 100, and then just changing the pen color to orange. Now here's the calculation for it. So the number of sides is six because a hexagon does have six sides. The side length is 30, and this is just like a personal preference for how big you want your hexagon to be. And this is the main um, math right here. It says angle equals 360 divided by the number of sides. So if we just... 360 divided by the number of sides here would give us 60. And then down here, it says for I in range of number of sides, and the number of sides is 6, it would say polygon forward side length. Side length is 30, so it'll move up 30 or move forward 30 spaces or units. And then below it says polygon dot right angle, and the angle it's going to move at a right angle going up for 30 spaces or units. And that's just to create the shape. And then down here, it's just to move the pen up and down. It's pretty simple. It's just to move like where your hexagon is. It says polygon dot pen up. That's just to lift the pen up off the screen. And then you would move it to these coordinates down here where it's two comma 51 to draw another hexagon. And then um, polygon dot pen down. And you just pen down this code, following codes repeated. And also why we're using polygon is we just changed um, this right here to polygon equals turtle. Just so it's easier to like identify. So thank you for watching my screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.